There are some mean crashes in NASCAR, F1, ah! Indy, and we're gonna watch some of the meanest ones. But know that everyone survives in the clips that we're about to watch, Dr. and we're gonna Mike! talk about the medical situations yeah! in each of these scenarios. Also, huge thanks to ShipStation for sponsoring this video. Zero is on PlayStation, right? We got Formula One action. Honestly, the surviving F1 series is fire if you haven't watched it yet. Blood uh, eyes. Oh, 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 oh. Where would his body be? It looks like it would be split in pieces. And the fact that there is a fire, I mean, he's in a fireproof suit, but how long can that help for? Oh, there he is, he's trying to get out. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, you gotta spray him. See, the problem with spraying down directly the person is it's good and bad at the same time. Good in the that smoke, you're right? dousing the flame, but the reason you point the fire extinguisher at the base of the flame is to literally suffocate the flame. And when you're shooting it at a person's face, you're essentially suffocating the person as well. See, the dangerous part would be if he was knocked uh, unconscious, because then I he know, wouldn't be able to climb out of things. the car. I know things! I know things! Look, you could see that the, the medical delegate is trying so hard to get near him, but the flames must be so hot. Oh, he must have burnt his hand. Burns to the hand are so bad because of the contractures that can form that the skin essentially starts becoming flexed. And you're gonna need multiple surgeries usually and occupational therapy. Shout out to my occupational therapists out there to help work that hand open and keep its strength or recover its strength. Wow, he's walking away from this? Not even walking, my guy's running away from it. Not only has he survived going through a barrier, uh, 160 miles an hour. How? 160 miles an hour? And how is he not concussed going from 160 miles an hour to zero so quickly? The danger in crashes is going from a high speed to a zero speed because all of that inertia carries your organs forward, even the brain. The brain sits in a soup, so it starts hitting the front of your scalp when you come to an abrupt stop. What? And I know they have neck stabilizing devices in the car, but whoa. He's insisting, no, 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 we'll, we'll get the ambulance here. But he wanted to demonstrate that he was okay. He got a message to everyone, his wife and family in particular. That okay, beautiful message. Medically, I hate it. Adrenaline in yeah, moments like this fuck? is rushing so fast that you might not have any idea what's going on in your body. You might be bleeding internally. You might be bleeding. Yeah, I was, I was in a car crash one time and it was like, it wasn't any, of course it wasn't anything like this, but when I was in the car crash, I remember I thought I felt okay. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm fine. And then it turns out I was not fine. Bleeding internally into your skull, having a stroke. So many things could be going wrong I right now. Fine. And just to symbolize that you're great and I strong, you do the extra walk, unnecessary. Actually, it's the same reason in boxing. Once there's a knockout, she, they don't- She died in that car crash. <laughs> yes, I passed away that day. You're talking to my ghost. It was scary. It was a scary. It was a really scary crash. I almost got ejected and thrown out of the out of the vehicle. It was insane. How people just usually it felt like it was the fastest moment in the world, but it felt like the slowest moment of my life. It was so scary. Stand up right away after the match ends. They first bring them to a stool. They have them calm yeah, down in go. the stool and they evaluate what's going on there and they have the doctor speak with them. Then they have them stand up and then they redo it again. Yeah, and I remember I, 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 I thought I was okay and I'm like, and I felt like really scared, but I was like, I'm fine, 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 I'm fine. And they took me to the hospital like, uh, you are not fine. <laughs> There's reasons for this progression because we want to make sure that the body and mind are both safe. Looks like he only suffered minor burns to the back of his hands, a yeah, sprained left ankle, Did you and see the time mouse me? ghost? <laughs> oh no, where is she? The only thing that saved me was my I'm I'm gonna be honest, the only thing that saved me was my seatbelt. If I wouldn't have been wearing my seatbelt, which is funny because I wasn't gonna wear my seatbelt that day because I was like, man, I'm so tired. I don't wanna wear a seatbelt. It's gonna be uncomfortable. I, you know, I, I feel sick. I just don't wanna wear it. And I wore it and that shit saved my life. <laughs> Cause if I wouldn't have had my seatbelt on, I would've been thrown out of the car. Like, horrifically flung out of the vehicle. <laughs> discharged from the hospital soon after. That's crazy that that's all that happened. I mean, I sprained my right ankle walking to the Why refrigerator Why do Latinians the hate seatbelts? It's not, it's not a Latinian thing to hate seatbelts, okay? It's just, seatbelts are really annoying. They're very... <laughs> They're annoying, especially if, like,
like you you're uncomfortable or like you're just feeling like shit and you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to wear your seatbelt after like you get like a procedure done or whatever the fuck and you're like I don't want to wear a fucking seatbelt it's gonna be fine and yes it is a booba problem okay my boobs are big and they are very annoying seatbelts are annoying for boob havers okay Dan Bear's toy and this guy's surviving a 160 mile an hour wreck Outside making a move. Okay, Indy. For those of you who don't know, I was with Mario Andretti in an Indy car. Did a lap. How about you? I did not do a lap. Oh, they're gonna touch wheels. They're gonna touch wheels. Oh, they touch wheels on a turn. That's awful. Oh my God. That's Robert Wickens. Robert Wickens. They got everybody. Oh my God. The spins. Oh, the strain and force a spin like that puts on your neck, I can't even begin to understand. Because when I took those turns wheel. with Andretti, I felt it in my neck, like my whole head being pushed to one side. When you're spinning like that, constantly changing direction, the amount of G's is incredible. Nothing like even my F-16 experience. Violent crash Pocono Raceway, which is where I did mine, by the way. Confirmed Thursday night that he is paralyzed from the chest down. No way. So <gasps> if it's chest down, likely that means that there was some kind of spinal cord injury. And obviously from a spin like that, as I was saying, you're putting so much torque on the spinal cord that it's no surprise that there was severe damage. Brian Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside. Oh, oh, oh. car's fish telling. Here fish telling. Fish telling. <gasps> Why? Why? Oh my God! In a the amazing of thing about the crash is God, the amount of sparks that the heat is now racing Before. in Indy car. Newman got turned, Jesus! Went up in the air as he came down, was hit by another car, and launched skyward. You know, in traditional oh car God. accidents, uh, like on the highway, they have this device called the jaws of life to actually cut through uh, the doors and other He's mechanical obstacles that might be in the way That's to free passengers. Crazy. I wonder how they do it here. Tries to go to the outside, then the inside. They lock, lock bumpers and turns Oh right my God, he ah! hit the side there really hard. Again, a lot of pressure on the neck. Being upset, like this is okay. Again, there's no rapid stop where you have that inertia of the organs potentially experiencing a high G-force. So this sliding effect is actually life-saving. He would later hold an interview with Today on March 11th where he discussed the crash, revealing he was knocked out and sustained a bruised brain. Bruised brain, essentially, he had a concussion. Probably a counter coup injury from getting hit on one side. And counter remember, when the brain hits one side, it then automatically bounces to the other the side because it sits in that Whoa. suit. It's called a counter coup you injury. But glad to know that he's alive. Let's take a minute side? and talk about ShipStation, the leading web based order management <gasps> and shipping. Quick AD break before you continue watching. Hey, you. Are you looking for some anime merch? My Hero Academia merch to Haikyuu merch? You can choose from different varieties of clothing. They offer free worldwide shipping over $49.90. It is easy to use and it is very convenient. Click the link in description now. Discount code is also in the description. Get awesome limited discounts from 15% up to 50% off. Use the link in my description. Season of the year. They come through the trioval. Checkered is waving. Oh, he's flying, he's flying. Whoa. Rolling, rolling. Okay, if I'm trying to gauge the risk of an accident, this is probably one of the safest ones we've seen so far. Not to downplay the injuries that happened here, but because again, the car kept rolling, that looks terrifying, but usually it creates the safest like, stop for the car. It looks like because the car again, is it's that sudden stop and the speed of that stop, the deceleration that causes the most damage and is the most lethal. Yeah, he's moving. I see him moving around in the car. Holy shit! Again, is usually what results out? from this is neck injuries, concussions from the rolling around, maybe if your hand gets caught in something. That's why I think Formula One drivers, and I don't know about other racing sports, are taught to take their hands immediately off the wheel on an accident. Thankfully, Wallace, simply lucky to be alive given the severity of the incident, didn't suffer any severe injuries. He did, however, suffer some minor ones and was forced to wear a cast on his hand for the next few races. His accident inspired the introduction of roof flaps to NASCAR vehicles, which Whoa. work to reduce flipping when cars go airborne. I mean, a cast with a, a crash of that severity is a pretty good thing to get away with. But you can see Mike moving inside the car. He's oh, going oh the airborne ones are so bad. Oh my God, oh my God. See, some of the most dangerous parts here are when the car that is airborne and its wheels 
make contact with the other driver from their head, which is unprotected. <gasps> and I know in Formula One, they started creating some sort of protection for them. I don't know if this was instituted at the time of this race. Here in turn three and four, oh. a few years ago. Wow. And the car is up into the fence, which is wow, almost wow, reminiscent wow. of Kenny Brack's accident wow, wow, at wow. Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. Yeah, so he went body into the fence, which again, takes a major toll on your spinal cord. Because imagine you're sitting and your spinal Spinal cord ex experiences all those compressive forces, puts pressure on your discs. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a disc herniation involved here, bulging disc, maybe even a disc rupture from the severity of that injury. Conway had surgery for multiple fractures in his lower left leg and had been diagnosed with a compression fracture in his back. That's oh. interesting because I was talking about disc compression, but the vertebrae, which are the actual bony the bodies in between the discs, can fracture as well. Must have been a lot of damage energy. to his spine, but. Uh, definitely can recover with surgery from that. Whoa, oh, look out, we got trouble. This is gonna oh, hurt. Oh, 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 oh my God, for the oh. people in the stands. <gasps> oh my and God, that car. doesn't even look oh like a car God. anymore. What the oh fuck? Oh my God, multiple ah! hits. The whole race is over. So Jeffrey is alert, at least and conscious and able to move. Oh I don't know about God. you guys, but I'm breathing a little bit better right now. Well, me too. I mean, I'm not because you're still not out of danger until you're in the hospital. Even in the hospital, when we have a patient in one area and we need to transfer them, whether it's from a regular inpatient floor unit to the ICU or from the ER to the patient room, it that transportation like can anymore. only happen when the patient's stable and things go wrong during that transportation that you need to be present and ready to activate a code blue, a rapid response and treat the patient right then and there. He suffered a concussion, facial laceration, multiple bruises, right wrist fracture, and a small fracture to a vertebrae and is an intensive care unit in serious but stable condition. Wow. I would say that it's probably a very severe concussion uh, when you're being tossed around at that rate of speed. I mean, that that's incredible. Just as I walk out in the infirmary, they said Lee Petty just went over turn three and four wall. Oh, shit. Oh. This looks like something from the scene of a car game called Carmageddon. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember Carmageddon. that game. Or Carmageddon. Twisted Metal. Oh, Twisted yeah. Metal! I think I also couldn't afford the real game, but I got my hands on a demo disc, oh. and I just played the demo over and over. <laughs> Went in to talk to him. He was about half conscious, and I just tore all the pieces, cut oh up God. everywhere. Ribs broke, punctured lung, just his leg all just all busted off, oh just hanging God. there. That's the biggest danger that I always tell you guys about whenever there's a rib fracture about puncturing your lung and developing a, a pneumothorax. Also, uh, less talked about but equally dangerous is if that rib fractures in an area where it nicks your aorta, you have massive internal bleeding. That's a deadly, deadly injury. <gasps> Lee Petty's car was destroyed and then they took his broken, apparently lifeless body to the hospital. It was some time before he could have broken bones fixed. They waited to see if he would stabilize as he lay in a coma. He spent four months in the hospital. Petty did return to racing, but he was never quite as competitive again. Wow. wow. Oh, go back. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. What okay, those fuck? are the ones I'm talking about where you're going high rate of speed and then you come to an instant stop. That's where you lose the your life. Is there is Michael Walter the now is standing up, climbing out from around ah! that shredded, mangled mass of sheet metal. What, he's just walking out? The Pontiac Grand Prix just a few moments ago. Yeah, Ben, I think I'm all right. Uh, got some contusions and a little bit of confusion, but uh, that's probably not too unusual. That's not unusual? That is unusual. When we decide whether or not to scan someone's head for an intracranial bleed, it's based off of certain signs and symptoms, but also the mechanism of injury and going 100 miles an hour or whatever that was to zero is most definitely a high-speed accident warranting a full body CAT scan. I think I'm all right and uh, we'll go home and get a good night's rest tonight. And, uh... No, you don't go home. You go straight to the hospital. <laughs> I hope he went to the hospital. You know, my I seat stayed uh, secured too. in the, the frame fuck? rail, in, in the only frame rail really that stayed as a part of the back of the car. This part wow. came up. I think the only thing that really saved him here was no that way, he hit the outside of his car, not his own side. If it was the driver's side that had that impact, it would have been a very different outcome. Uh, Alonzo, let's go. This is McLaren days, not Ferrari days. Oh! There goes his front tire. Oh, it's so hard to make out what just happened. Is he okay? The whole axle looked like it went. He walked away like that? That's Holy him? Shit. Wait, is that Esteban Gutierrez? That's my friend. Look at all these pictures of me and him. You see the sky, then you see the ground, you see the sky, and that you know exactly where you everybody. are, and you keep moving, moving, you want to stop, 
Then the car stopped. I saw a little space to go out, and I said, I go out quickly. And my mom will watch TV, so I want to be out quite wow. quickly. Wow. Holy I'm okay. shit. I feel fine physically, but everything hurts a little because you move around so much at those speeds. The knees, what bothers me most is it hit the steering column. I feel fine. very lucky. Very lucky. Everything That's is going to hurt for a while. And honestly, you should be under observation because if you're even having a small bleed internally, you want to make sure that you're able to act quickly. So I have a funny story with... Esteban Gutierrez. We went to a family. Bro, I'll stand up wrong and then I'll be like, <laughs> I'll get out of bed and break my leg. <laughs> these people will be in these death, the, the, these death crashes and they'll be fine. And me, I get up from bed and stand up and it's like, oh shit, my, I broke my leg. Dinner. I took him on my Audi TTS and I was going to drop him off at his place and then go home. And I'm with a Formula One driver. I'm going to drive and try and look cool. And because of that, I turned into the Holland Tunnel in the city and I didn't mean to do that. So I was like, oh my God, I turned into the wrong thing. So I was like, let me just back up real quick because it's not, I'm not that far in. And as, as soon as I started backing up, you see a cop walk out onto the street and go, excuse me, sir. It, come on, come on. And had me pull up, checked my windows for tins, started writing me tickets. I was like, officer, I'm so sorry. I made this mistake. I'm a physician. This is a Formula One driver. He's like, I couldn't care less. Here's your tin ticket. But yeah, that that's that goes to say that even if you have a Formula One driver no, cop, don't in your give passenger a seat, seat, don't try and show off because things will go wrong. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna be the worst one, isn't it? This looks like a skit. The only thing that I'll say is this, isn't even this is pretty real. low speed, so I guess that's a little bit safer. But these vehicles weren't as safe, so that's not necessarily true. You know what's really scary? When you watch some uh, of those videos when there is a blizzard and there's low visibility and then there's an accident and another accident and all of a sudden there's cars just sliding into other cars and then people come out to see what's going on and they're getting trapped. Oh Never God. exit your vehicle if you're in one of those situations. Call for help, stay in your vehicle because you don't know what's coming behind you. That's the scary part. And if you do exit, run away. Like don't stay on the highway. I mentioned earlier that I flew an F-16. Check out that video. You flew an F- Man, this guy's done everything.